Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to go through the basics of DynamoDB and we'll create our first table. Before we dive in to do that though, let's go over a couple of quick slides for concepts. As you might know, AWS has a lot of different databases, all purpose built. DynamoDB falls into the non-relational or NoSQL category. In the big scheme of things, this is a newer way to store data. It's become really popular in recent years for high traffic web apps, e-commerce, and gaming. These have a much more flexible schema than say the relational database service or RDS. Link above and below, by the way, if you're interested in that video, but it's easier to scale and generally you're gonna get better performance. Here, rather than storing your data in tables with rows and columns, it's commonly represented as JSON code, as you can see here in this example. Here we have information about a person, Jeremy Dunn. It supports arrays like the hobbies listed here, and you can also nest data like the address information. In general, this schema is much more flexible than a relational database schema. If I wanted to add a new field or key for say occupation or favorite food, I would just do that. It's much harder to make schema updates in a relational database, but not here. DynamoDB is a key value database, which is one of the more popular forms of NoSQL. If you're not familiar, it essentially works like this. You have a unique set of identifiers that have associated values. So basically two pieces of data that are associated with each other. All right, enough with the talk. Let's go and create our first table. In the console, navigate to DynamoDB. And as always, we have the big orange button to get started. So we'll say create table. Now I'll point out here, we're creating a table, not a database. With RDS, we had to provision the instance for the database, which installed some default databases. Then we would actually have to go create our own database after that, which would hold tables. But here we're just creating a table right away. Because DynamoDB is serverless, all of that underlying infrastructure is being handled for us. All right, for table name, we'll say customers. For partition key, this is part of a unique identifier that will let us retrieve items from the table. Here we're gonna say customer ID, and the data type will be a string. The sort key is an additional thing you can specify optionally that lets you sort and search. We're gonna skip through this one though. For settings, we'll go with default settings and then create table. All right, let's click into the customers table. And then up here on the top right, explore table items. We don't have any items at the moment, obviously. So let's create item. We specified the partition key of customer ID. I'll just enter one for that value. Then I can also add new attributes from here. So let's add a new one for string. This will be first name. And let's say the value is art. And then another attribute for last name. Vandalay. We'll add an attribute for city. And let's say that's Seattle. And then one more for state. And that will be Washington. All right, now let's create this item. Then down here under our list of items returned, you'll see that the schema is basically inferred from those attributes that we entered. So city, first name, last name, and state. Let's create another item. This one will be customer ID two. We'll add an attribute, first name, Bob, last name, Sacramento, and let's go with a number here for age of 62 and create item. So now you'll see that we have the two items here and they have different values. The second one, I have an age and the first one I didn't. The first one I had city and state, the second one I didn't. And all of that works just fine in this non-relational database schema. It's a very flexible way to store your data. We're just putting the data here on the table. We aren't having to join it and set up relationships and so forth like we would have to in a relational database. So that's how you create a DynamoDB table and add a couple of items. If you found it helpful, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button so it can spread to more people. And also think about subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.